The questions aimed at Anita Hill were appalling even 30 years ago, a supposedly less enlightened time. Are you a scorned woman? A member of the Senate Judiciary Committee demanded after Hill accused her former boss, Supreme Court nominee Clarence Thomas, of crude sexual harassment. Do you have a martyr complex? The patronizing and bullying behavior of senators like Alabama's Howell Heflin, witnessed live on national television, prompted not just anger and revulsion but a political backlash over the seeming cluelessness of the all-male Senate Judiciary Committee. Just over a year later, in November 1992, five women were elected to the Senate, the most ever at one time, and a record 47 were elected to the House, with California at the vanguard of what came to be called the Year of the Woman. The victories of Barbara Boxer and Diane Feinstein marked the first time in history a state chose two women to represent it in the U.S. Senate. Decades passed. Another Supreme Court confirmation hearing, another black woman verbally assaulted. Do you believe that babies are racist? The oleaginous Senator Ted Cruz asked Pet on G. Brown Jackson in one of many exchanges meant not to elicit information but inflame the GOP's conservative base. But don't expect a huge political backlash this time. Things have changed, for good and bad. Jack Hassery was how Bill Carrot, a strategist for Feinstein's 1992 campaign, described last week's Judiciary Committee spectacle. He was repeating the word used by Senator Ben Sass, who showed it was possible to ask probing and substantive questions of Jackson without, in the Nebraska Republicans' words, mugging for short-term camera opportunities. Being rude in public is a bad thing for anybody and it's particularly bad for politicians, said Carrick, who predicted Democrats would repackage the ugliest moments of Jackson's hearing in campaign advertising, especially for spots targeting women and independent suburban voters. Still, there are several reasons why the demeaning and disrespectful treatment of Jackson will probably not produce the same sort of political blowback as the Senate's cruel and cavalier treatment of Hill.